Before we start, we just wanted to say thank you for everybody who actually viewed the video and also commented. It was our first uh, video we've had that's hit over a thousand views. Um, by far, I mean, I think what the previous one was half that. So thank you guys so much. That was actually really exciting for us. And also just like all the comments, thank you as well. We will mention uh, everybody by name at the end of it. But uh, just so just wanted to let you, know, you guys know for thank you for for just checking out us, checking us out, watching our video. If you have any kind of recommendations on how we can improve this, just let us know. We'll definitely take it into consideration. We'll also take we'll take helpful criticism. Uh, so even if we're just terrible, as long as you kind of tell us what happened and you want to just call us, you guys are trash. I'll take it. That's fine. I just want to say that, like, <laughs> just remember, please, people, that uh, we're anime only here. So I know you want to help us out yeah. with like with more details about like more lore and backstory, but just remember. Like, we're trying to figure this out just from the point of anime only, especially like if it comes out later, if there's more information in later. So, um, so yeah. we do, we do recognize this as the internet, though. It happens. So, so just, <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, if, if you can avoid it, that, that's awesome. Yeah. But yeah. it's good to see how passionate, you know, you oh, guys are, especially yeah. like the views and comments of Threat and Set Alone. Like, that means, uh, you know, a lot for us as we continue to grow here. Um, and, you know, we want to continue to foster that kind of uh, environment for, yeah. you know, you guys for but the, both this show and, you know, really hype shows that continue to come. Yeah. And, and they, uh, they just thank you guys for the comments of the ones that who like could just take all this in consideration. Um, that's like like the community has been awesome compared to like a lot of the other ones like we've seen of uh, other shows. So this like if, if we can just get these comments and more. Perfect. But anyway, well, that said, let's okay. let's get right into yeah. it. Then. So we, we got a lot to say. talk about. And I guess before we start, like he was right, but like you know, I wasn't right for the time skip, and I, the demon language was important too. They'll get to that later. I just want to say like, like this very first part is showing like the Rudy when he was like back in his old form. I didn't want to see that man. I was like, this is get this loser out of the screen. I want to see Rudy. <laughs> hey, that is who he truly is, David. So I they had to show. That. Get this loser out of there. Wow. So fucking rude, dude. Dude, Holy I don't, don't want to see this guy. <laughs> and that's uh, that's brutal. <laughs> that's my thought in the first minute. And then, okay, actually, more serious though. Like, like they brought out the man, that the they say man god in the in the subtitles. I'm pretty sure they, they meant like human god, but like, I don't usually like it in the isekais when they have like a god interfering with things. I just uh, that's like one thing I don't like, but that's it's more like yeah, oh, he told Gami, yeah. So I think it's supposed to be like person like. Like a human god, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, when I when I saw that, it was like it, it you know, from few isekai tropes we've seen, where they end up speaking to like a god, uh, yeah. whether like with the uh, Yojo Senki and um, even like the standing on a million lives, where they have that just ridiculous ass looking god. I kind of got those vibes, but there's multiple gods in this though, because we heard that there's a there's like a man god and there's also a dragon god at least yeah. of those two. I'm assuming there's a lot more. <clears throat> But uh, then we also found out that uh, that the was it the massive mana disaster that tra actually por transported them to a different continent, um, as like of the like I guess like the distance from where they were before. We yeah. don't really uh, know it. Tizzle and Chat uh, linked us a map. Let me see if I can get this up real quick. You guys keep talking. Sure. Um, I don't know, Koo, if uh, Justin, if you guys have anything to jump in for right now. If not, um, I got really a few big. more things. Okay, but... so on screen, I just showed it real quick. Um, let me see. Oh god, it's hard to see. So this is the world map. I can't. Where's? Where's? Sorry the, for um... podcast only listeners. Yeah. You where's? Won't be seeing this. <laughs> um. Where... Where's the oh, demon ca uh, continent? Um. Tizzle. Let me just uh, put on my magnifying glass here. And... Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, I believe it's northeast, right? Northeast. Damn, this is huge. Yeah, this is, oh, yes, here's so yeah, here, this is the demon capital. Um, northeast. Yep, it's northeast. That's where they transport to. And where is the original town? Uh, Dizzle, like they or where is um where is like like Eris's like hometown? That was. Hmm. I would assume it's top left. Okay, top so left. top left is where. Is Top left is where they were before, and then and then top right is where they got transferred to by the uh, the the storm. Damn. Fitoya. Oh. They have to go. They have to go to Fitoa, which um. That's one hell of a journey. Then they're going to be making. South. Yeah. Oh, they have to go a decent distance. Hmm. Um. They have to, they have to so go to the, the port south again? or. <laughs> what, what's up, Koo? 
who wanted that time skip again? Here's that time skip. <laughs> that's, that's another time skip. Just like we're probably on adventure now. So yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Like a long adventure. Which we got oh, some uh, Lord was, of the Rings okay. going on. So I was not expecting like oh, yeah. like I was not expecting being transported to another continent. That's like that was surprising. So yeah. I, I was I was assuming it was gonna be like a different world or something yeah. like that. I guess it's more fitting now of like the shot that we saw of the demon lolly. So I'm sure now that's yeah. probably more oh, like right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. She was you know walking around in the desert. I think yep. so. Mm-hmm. The, um, God, what was it? But like when the, the the man god was saying about how um the first thing you know just rely on a man to, to help you. It's like, though, do we really need like the the god to tell him that? Like, like well, because. Well, well, the thing is, he's, he's like he's been told is basically that is it that the uh, super like superds are basically the people to avoid. Yeah, like yeah. you like they will kill you. You know, just fight them or whatever you else you want to do. So I think with the the mangon telling him to you know like trust the, to rely on the man for help, the, like that was the guy, and like, then he bas- he was able to actually question it. He learned the language. Like what's, he was able to help. What's out. the like? What's the reason that you have you need a god to um to tell you that though i don't know like what's why would a god well, what's the oh. point of the god jumping in at that moment in time yeah, though that, that too, we don't know. If, well if it was me right and like all my life i've been told avoid this specific demon if you ever see him well, yeah right and you wake up and you see him your natural instinct would be what Eris did, right either like yeah. freak the fuck out oh or yeah that's like <laughs> respond fight, or, like, go immediate like yeah. fire bolt or whatever you yeah. know but because of what the uh, the human god said, it allowed him to say, "Oh shit!" Like it's a it's a superior or whatever. Uh, but wait, you know this guy told me I gotta rely on him and then no, no, helping I, him as yeah. Well. I get that, well. Koo. I totally get that. But like, what? What's like? Why doesn't he help Rudy so much? Like, what's his purpose in helping Rudy? Why is Rudy so special? We don't that know. He, I guess. I guess I mean I, just, I don't I'm believe just we know yet. I'm, oh, you mean I'm, the human god? Yeah, like I'm. I'm, I'm just, god? Oh. I guess I'm just pointing out there now. Maybe, maybe we'll figure, figure out later why he needs like. I believe he said he just wanted. Uh, he just find Rudy entertaining. So yeah, he, 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 he found, yeah, he found it fun. I guess. Yeah. Like so. dance, little man, dance. Basically, <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's that's kind of like how to, how I took it all. So I, I think with him just basically telling him to like rely on the man for help, like I think that just helped Rudy with like his like his the reaction he gave to the guy. Because I, I assume his initial reaction would have been kind of like Ares's, but I think he would have you know fought because he he did go for the staff, but yeah. then he stopped. And here's yeah, here's right. where Tizzle can call me out because I was saying like, oh, so we were just learning languages for an episode, and what well, do you know? We need it. So there Boom. you go. There's it there's helps. one part Tizzle you can call me yeah. out for. Dude, also, I mean, it's one of those things too that's kind of a convenience factor as well. Like it's fitting, yeah. I guess for oh, his character, speaking, but it's like, oh, okay, well, of course we. Of convenience, how we happen to land in the village where Roxy is from. That's yeah, that's that yep. pretty cool too. Um, I, I mean, do, I enjoy I, it. I, yeah. I do like the their turtle <laughs> very shell nice. roofs. That part is actually pretty yeah. cool. Guys, we're missing the main thing though. Like when they all landed, Glenn's missing. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. She'll, she'll come to play later. She'll be, she'll be all right. Yeah. You know, there's no worry about Glenn. Yeah, but the thing is, though, I, I just I just assume with Glenn's mentality, she's not going to be like thinking like clearly like they do about. Uh... Well, actually, no, we will. He's well, we don't know. Super... We, we don't know where no. she. We don't know if she's in the demon continent either. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, we've that's true. Superd. We've only seen one spurred. Superd. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. pronounce it better as Spear. we go. Spear. Yeah. What is it? Yes. Like, I, I, I see I see the subtitles. Like I know I don't know how to pronounce it like in English. I just hear superdo in the. I just hear spurred. Yes, I've heard. It's uh, close enough. I think everybody will kind of know what we're saying. Okay. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Uh, but then we also got like an explanation as to why superds are in like the terrible situation that they're yeah, in. Yeah, we, we got much more lore. Yeah, on on the different side of the demon war. I was also I was, I was asked about that in this episode, and then they actually explained it. So that was really nice. How um yeah, basically like they got, have the notes. Yeah, they got portrayed by by Lapless and. Yeah, and so now it's. So it makes sense why like, people are so scared of of the tribe, and now um, I had how do you say Refugered? I don't know how, how you'd say that, but but like yeah. his name? I just take it as like the eye is silent. It's much easier to say like Refugered. Refugered. Okay. Then like Refugered. Refugered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say we're not you know trying to master the, the way of saying names here. We'll do our uh, best, but <laughs> yeah. did we ever know that the redstone was an eye? 
and like how it gets there. Do we know that any of that yet or no? No, I think no, that's the think first time. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. This is the first yeah. time that we learned that it can sense like demons, and that's how he's like just kind of you know mm. able okay. to survive yeah. out in these lands no, so tizzle. well. No, apart no. from just being like Keep super OP. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, the the string gun of the machine. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, you know what's really weird? Uh, I actually got like a uh, that with uh, Rujard's uh, uh, Rujard's backstory. I, I got like Uch- Uchiha clan vibes, where you know he wants to like uh, he wants to atone for his his like uh, his clan and everything else. I'm thinking, damn, I'm getting some like Naruto vibes from this stuff. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty similar. Like, you it know, is. someone's got to be stuck with the blame. And that's yeah. you know, Rejeard's whole backstory of they, Laplace, you know, used them to help win this framed. war. And then the, they he, they learned after the fact that the great gift of these spears that they gave him really just turned them into blood hungry animals that'll kill anyone and everyone, including their family and, you know, all that. So Dude, what's crazy is like, I, I, I kind of hope we'll be, I think we kind of got like an idea of, like uh, about the superheroes, like just like how much the spears mean to them. It sounds like that's basically like in a in a sense like their soul. It's uh, it's basically that's, like what yeah, they that, use. That's it. what he said about his his spear too. That it's like the solar yeah. sun. So, dude. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if you feel, yeah, feel, feel for the guy. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, and this guy still he basically still wants to like redeem his like uh his uh his species his, his race. Uh, or clan. I'm not race race clan. I'm not sure. They say tribe and stuff, but I think okay, we'll play tribe. Yeah, I'll go for tribe. That's fine. Um, so he just wants to like redeem the tribe, and then basically Rudy being a beast, he's like, "Man, I'll help you out. I got yeah, you." Yeah, ultimate ultimate homie Rudy. Coming yeah, the, the guy's like ten. <laughs> the guy's like yeah. ten years old. <laughs> um, I did really enjoy the change in animation style that they did for that very like you know intense oh, yeah. pan of Rugeard of just like yeah. we were betrayed by fucking Lapalus, <laughs> <laughs> and then Rudy and everybody's just like, "Okay, chill, bro. Like, okay, yeah, that's bad. Like, we got it. I'll, yeah. I'll help you. We're on your side." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but that like that was all like really well. A done. good nod, nonetheless, for yeah. them to do that <laughs> adds but, adds uh, flavor and depth to it. Oh yeah, and in Roxy's hometown, everybody has exactly. Oh, color I right love here. it. When again, I know you know we haven't been the biggest fans of kind of like the more perverse nature, but when it's lighthearted of Rudy walking around the town, he's like Roxy one, Roxy two, <laughs> Roxy three. Dude, like that was that was good. Like I'll give him that. That <laughs> like, was really good. I can't think I got hit with the the anime like of like the age like her roxy's 44 or something yeah that was the other thing of like oh like, okay it's okay now she's secretly 44 so like it wasn't you know he's like at least 400 because he's, he's lived since the demon uh wars so. yeah true too that's yeah. crazy that yeah. He's, yeah he's lived that long he has yeah, like that, that history behind him yeah it's uh yeah the, the whole the whole kind of like town was um i was pretty cool but i actually did we we didn't know that she lived in the demon continent, did we? Well, she we know she was a demon, oh. so well, she's a demon, so oh, she, yeah, oh, so we oh, figured that she oh, bad, originated from there and then okay, obviously right. went to I the, didn't, I didn't the school and like, stuff. I didn't realize the demons had their own continent, I thought I thought everyone shared like the same, I thought everything was much closer. Like, I didn't realize, yeah, there was this old, right. yeah, continent. seeing that map now yeah. that Tizzle linked, it's like, god damn, we got a real world on our hands, not just you know, it's intense because, yeah, it's, it's, these East Kai is all just, it's always just one it. continent, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, God, what else? What else do I have? I don't. Know I have. Honestly, I mean, like the episode was awesome for like a bunch of lore. We got to learn a lot more about like uh, the uh, the tribes, everything, kind of like the situation that they're in. Mm-hmm. Um, the 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 the, uh, the kind of sh- the, the just kind of like other random shocker was like how quick Ares actually came to like uh, Ruj- uh Mm-hmm. Like she, Rougier, she, yeah, Rougier, yeah. <laughs> like she, like she, like she, like she, like she, like just kind of trusted Rudy, like really quick with that. Like, even though I'm sure her her entire life was basically said avoid these people, right. but I don't know if it's just because of like how, and just like just because of like how like the confidence in either Rick Rudy or just kind of like letting her know of the situation, like how quick that actually turned, and now she's just like BFFs with this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's like, what else can she really do in that situation? That is true. Right? Too, like, yeah. it adds no benefit to it, and she really is kind of looking towards Rudy as like, you know, the one to really help her out. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but, but I, I can't help but think we're going to see a lot of growth from Eris too. Hopefully, in this journey. I think um, we were. Just... She did. She did get that sword that the uh, the chief of Roxy's village gave to um, Rudy alongside mm-hmm. with like some money or whatever. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised. I'm not, I'm surprised that, like that. Eris is included in this adventure because usually in these type of shows, like it's just Rudy by himself or with like a companion. It, it would be Rudy. Mm-hmm. So I'm surprised they added Eris. Like I would not expect her to um 
to take along for like this type of thing. So I like well, it. I like it my, though. I'm liking Harris more and more. Uh, well, my fear with this, right now, this is very biased, but my fear with this is due to their adventure and the up and coming time skip, right, where they make it back to their hometown. You know, with with the the bonds that they form with this journey, maybe Rudy and Eris gets married, right? So, if you were hoping for the the Roxy ship or the the Sylphie ship, that's probably long gone now. Sir, I, I feel I like feel that's like, gonna happen way long. I feel on. like this. I feel like the Sylphie shit is still. Yeah, probably number one. I don't know, man. Maybe he pulled Paul, and he, you know, like she's sleeping, and then you know, Paul, and it really like, oh man, like Eris is asleep. That is, yeah, Yeah, that is true. Did have that moment again where he's creeping over, and it's just like, yo, man. (laughs) And like two, three years in a desert. I mean, you don't know. You don't know. I think we've watched enough of the the shows though. We we know that that it's going to take a long time to resolve that. You know. Uh, well, yeah, ch- if anything, childhood friend always wins, and Sophie is right. childhood friend never, <laughs> never wins. Win, man, <laughs> like like unless they 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 allow multiple. Do y'all marriages. watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood or what? I mean, that's I, I one did example. one show. That's one. I, that's example. Example. Just one show. That's like the exception. <laughs> right. Like every other, every other, well, at least rom coms. No, no, like no, they no, never no, win, no. man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not including rom coms because yeah, rom coms they never win. Never worked out. Yeah, they should win, but they don't. Yeah, but but unless they uh, like they allow because they did say like polygamy was allowed depending on the religion you follow. Like unless Rudy just marries every fucking hot chick that he comes across, <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> it feels like this is like leaning towards the the ha- heiress and Rudy shit. It you happens know what I'm in Isekai, so I wouldn't be surprised what happens in this show. I mean, I, yeah. I know the show has like a lot of good comedy, but I don't think it, it would go that route though. I don't. I think it would. Um, I can see. It I just going. don't feel like, it like would. based on like the other Isekais I've read. Like I can see it going like the, the polygamy route. Mm. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. I think it I takes like a couple of Yeah, what I feel it? like either like if that would happen, either Eris would kill him, Roxy would kill him, or Sif would kill him, and they're all capable of killing. Okay. Him. Yeah. Roxy is like the teacher. I don't think she sees him like in any way. Like uh, she, she did tell him once you're 15 and you still feel that same way. Let me know. I mean. And then, you know, okay. like, like Tizzle mentioned, you know, Rudy did try to sneak in. I know, hey, can I call you father-in-law, you know, when he was about to leave? Uh, that's true. <laughs> that's so, true. Uh, you know, Rudy still, like, sees her as a goddess and he worships her. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I hate it. It makes that, too much sense. That, that's, still <laughs> a thing. that's still a thing, you know? So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, well so we, we need that time skip, like, now then just to see how that goes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I think that's all I really got. It's I know. yeah. I thought like, I, like I had way more to talk about this episode, but like, I mean, I think we covered the most of it. it was, I mean, it was a bunch of lore. We talked about the new characters, just kind of like their situation, uh, and then yeah, they have a new party member, uh, and he's a uh, he's a superb. So, mm-hmm. he, which he seems awesome, by the way. But then I feel like this guy, he just feels like a character that would just kind of get offed at some point, and basically just really, be, it would be just terrible. Uh, I th- well, I feel like it's maybe it's gonna, not just because he's the he's the one that's gonna kind of like bridge them to like his like normalcy. His in a sense like his for, his, for his goal people. of like um of like just trying to like redeem the reputation of his tribe. I feel like it's like a like a long running thing in the show. I feel like it's just gonna be like one of the main things that Rudy has to do. I don't think it's gonna be yeah. done like an arc. Yeah. Or I mean, I, I could see that though that he could get off and it gives that much more impact to Rudy. Yeah. Of, like, I really need to do this for him. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good yeah. armor to have. Either way. Yep. Dude, I, still, I guess, I guess still it's like solid show. I guess I'll say one thing. Like, I guess it's nice that, um, that like, we finally have a goal for Rudy. He's not just like just... I mean, he's just... I mean, he's just like just letting things happen for him. But now it's like he has an actual goal to work towards for. So that's 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 mm. what I enjoy from no. this episode. We're out yeah. of the, the training heiress arc, so to speak. So Yeah. yeah. He's helping the superiors and he also needs to get back. Yeah. We right. got We got stuff going. Yeah, and, and you got this bigger deal of what caused the mana spike in the first place. Yeah, you know, is oh, yeah, us trying to yeah. come back through some other party's means. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, there's yep. just definitely a lot to unravel. It's hopefully it doesn't get to the part where it's like ReZero, where you got a shit ton of stuff happening <laughs> at once. And yeah, I mean, this on. was, I mean, ReZero authors, big fan of Shoko Tensei. So, oh, oh right, well, maybe that's where he got it from. <laughs> oh God, hopefully not. Right. But yeah, no, I'm interested to see where this is going. Uh, like the new guy, uh, R- Rigerdo, uh, he seems like a pretty <laughs> cool character. <laughs> uh, we still need to figure out like what his backstory is, and then like the thing with the children, right? Um, and how they're gonna kind of 
kind of bring yeah. back the reputation for his clan or tribe or whatever. So it should yeah. be interesting. Yeah, the other one I'm actually interested in is like they say they say he saved a kid, but we don't know who that kid is. Unless, so that's still kind of like up in the air as well because they just mentioned he saved a kid was it ten years ago, but we don't know who that is. Right. So, so it'll be. But I don't know if that's like a, it could be just like a minute detail. But, you know, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll see it in the future. We're on the adventure. Yes. No. No time skip, please. <laughs> I guess. I'm okay with this. I'm. I'm yeah. good. Although I, mean, I imagine uh, with it, with how many episodes we have left for the season, uh, I yeah, wonder where it's going to end. We have eleven this first season, and and then whatever next season is. So I don't, yeah, I don't know how long this whole. I don't know if Rudy's going to get back to back back there before our second season over. So we'll see. I don't think so. I don't think yeah. so. Well, there's only what two episodes left. No, no, not not this. I'm talking about like the second season. I don't even know if even oh, by, the gotcha. end, yeah, the, yeah. by the end of the second right. season, I don't know if Rudy's and Eris is going to be back. Like I don't know how long. I think, I think they could maybe do that. I don't know how, how long they want. Like they want to like space out this this whole like journey. So yeah, we'll yeah. see. We're taking the time. I don't, I don't know which anything. Is I, like, I have no idea how the show's gonna like turn out now. Because I I was not expecting them them to be like, still a kid for this long. I thought for sure it'd be like be like like in high school right now. So so I, yeah. I have no idea what the pacing is gonna be like now. We True. will see. But I think that I think that's gonna wrap it up for Mitchell Tensei. Do you wanna shout outs to our yes. comments, Trend? Yes, real quick. Uh, uh for the for everybody who commented on our YouTube videos and you know, also the, all the listeners on our uh, podcast as well. Thank you guys again for all the all the, the comments, the downloads, everything, the views. Uh but uh, thank you for the comments. Uh Dark Sonic Spirit, Nikhil Phillip, K thirty four, God, that's a big one. Uh Albert, uh hey, like Darren, <laughs> FVA. Uh, Shivaji, Summer Jazz, Wasteland Wanderer, Ayush, thank you again. Sonic, Sonic Cam, Johan, uh, aka FX Fuller, or JX Fuller, uh, J Zone, Tippy, Alexa, Vane, Mimic Raccoon, Ronan, uh, Jaimira. W- apologize, we saw your comment late. We, we we didn't actually get the chance to reply back, but thank you for your comment. And also, just some guy with a scar. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Love so that's going to end it here for Mushoku Tensei. <laughs>